a change is coming, right? Maybe in your life, maybe in another, maybe in a friend's. Let's read. It says in Philippians 3, verse 20 to 21, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I need to stop here. Actually, I'm going to continue reading. In 21, it also says, Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. So it says here, we could have a lot of works, but God doesn't look at our works. What does that mean? I want to apply it in a way that you may have never heard before. And the way is this. Your work is what you want to achieve in life, physically, naturally, right? You want to maybe have a house. You want to um, uh, have a, a best job. And so you want to do that. You apply yourself in order to get that. You want an education. You want a degree. You want a master's degree. You want a car. Now, God doesn't look at those works. You apply yourself. But while you apply yourself, don't change who you are. You're a child of God. What do I mean? If you want a car, don't go for a car by asking a drug dealer for money, right? You, you work at a car, you save up your money, and then you go make a payment on it, and or you go ahead and you buy cash. That's how you do it. That's also the way that you never taste debt. The biggest downfalls of Christians is money, finances. It breaks up marriages. It, it breaks people up, period. Especially when you are the man of God, you are the, you're supposed to be the provider, okay? So now we look at that, but your conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, not to bring us out of every situation, right? We want to get to heaven. We want to, at this point, we understand we've made a mistake. Things are not turning out the way that we want to, but that doesn't change the fact of where we're going. In order to understand where we're going, we have to understand who we are. We are children of God. Children of God are going to heaven to see God's face in order to be changed from this vile body, which means the body of sin, which means that all of these um, traits which want to kind of separate you from the goodness of God um, will now be forgotten. There's a constant battle that's within our body and it's a battle of sin and righteousness. And we have to understand that a change is going to be coming for the better. And one day you're going to make up in your mind, I no longer want to sin. It's hurt everyone around me. It hurt my family. It hurt my friends. It's hurting me. I want to stop sinning. God teach me how. And God will answer. God will will change. You see, with Paul, when he was Saul, he didn't know it at the time, but he was really asking God for change. And he thought it was by pleasing the Pharisees and doing the things of the law. And he said, clearly, look, all those things didn't profit me anything. I just wanted to please God. And that's why Jesus Christ came and spoke to him on his way to Damascus and said, you know, why are you going to kick against the prick? Have you ever considered that I am the I am? I am the first. I am the last. Am I not speaking to you? Yet you all killed me, or rather I'm risen. This was understanding to Paul that I was wrong about life, how I looked, how I perceived life, what I did in life. I persecuted the saints. But now 
my conversation is no longer going to be about gain and money and getting the next best thing and doing the next best thing, but it's going to be about getting to heaven and getting and making sure that I'm doing all what I could do to steer my family in the right direction and as well as not forgetting about myself, right? God is there for you. Sometimes through life and the mistakes of life, we gain a closer walk with God. He's a good God. And he wants you to know that he could do any and everything but fail. You and your works may have failed, but that doesn't mean God is not with you. Continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand and watch him work a work in your life. God bless.